This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, hopefully you're all all right. Uh, first things first, we do have GoPro footage in this vlog. We are in Stonehouse at the moment. Get rid of these pallets. We've got 520 check pallets. They're stacked 20 high, 13 rows, 520 all in total. Um, we're just going to get these off now, and then we've got to go to Oxford, get loaded with portaloos, and we're going to Tatton Park. Can't remember what event it is at Tatton Park. I think it's some sort of flower show. I'm not sure. Um, been there a few times, but uh, yeah, we're going to go get loaded with toilets and do some more. We've got some new additions to the truck. I didn't know about this until I got in this morning, but I got this thing on the front of the truck. Motocam is the company. I've also got one down the side of the truck, which is here. Motocam. By the way, yes, the truck is dirty. I'm just about to give it a hand wash now because the wheels are dirty. For example, look how dirty that wheel is. And if we go around here, I've already cleaned this one. A bit shiny. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, event. The, the thing is, if I just go up here, over there on the corner of the pillar there, uh, it lights up. If I turn the ignition on that, there you go. And essentially, if I get close to something, it tells me. Uh, and if something's down the left hand side of me, it'll tell me as well that there's something down on the left hand side. Now, from what I can tell, it's a new London thing. Um, so you need it for London to go in into London, basically. So. That's why it's there, so I don't kill any pedestrians. Haven't killed any so far. Hopefully this uh, <laughs> means I will continue not to have killed any so far. So anyway, we're going to uh, get these offloaded, look, we're nearly done. And then uh, we're going to crack on to, uh, to Oxford. Right, that's the wheels cleaned. At uh, some point, well, at points during the day, I'll go around and clean the truck as well. I didn't have time to clean it on Friday. Today is Monday. Uh, yeah, Friday I didn't get back until like seven, quarter past seven and there were still drivers washing their trucks and I am, <laughs> I am hanging around to clean the truck so uh, I went home it just means that throughout the day I haven't got to but just throughout the day I'll just uh, wipe it over panel by panel <laughs> uh, right let's jump in the truck we need to um, A get the GoPros ready and set up and B plan the route I also need to double check the entrance for Tatton Park because I can't remember where it is right with tips he's just given us the old honk yeah every time I turn the ignition on that thing over there beeps I come in to work this morning I was like that's new <laughs> okie dokie we're just heading out now are these lorries stopping here to be checked out no they're waiting for the gate okay that's cool there's a couple of lorries here let in front I can turn the dash cam on now I was wondering whether they were stopping or not but they're not they are cracking on that's good we want to crack on as well <laughs> So, yeah, we've got to go to Oxford, which is, uh, well, unusual, because normally Tatton Park, as far as I was aware, usually is uh, Pods, and Pods is uh, normally from Swindon, and uh, the boss has said go to Oxford, so that would mean it's um, like actual portaloos. So it's slightly unusual, because that Oxford is also further away, so... I do wonder if I need to make if I need to make a phone call. If I am going to make a phone call, it'll have to be here because uh, it, where I go will matter. Because if I'm going to Swindon, I need to go left. Oxford will be right. Cheers, mate. Bye, mate. Right, deaf. Definitely Oxford, definitely Oxford. It's um, one of them, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I might look like an idiot for doubting the boss, but also, had it have been uh, that I actually do need to go swimming instead, I could have saved some some money in fuel costs. So it's just that I've never, never delivering, uh, never delivered to Tatton Park with the um, with the portaloos. Normally, it's the the big white pods. And Oxford don't do the big pipe, the big white pods. Well, they didn't. So, yes. We shall go to Oxford. Oxford it is. I 
I just had to double check because, yeah, <laughs> had it have been Swindon instead of Oxford. Because it's like, it's an over an hour and a half to get to, to Oxford, whereas Swindon is an hour away. So it would have taken, it takes longer to get to Oxford basically than it does Swindon and it didn't make sense to go to Oxford instead of Swindon, but Oxford is what it is. So yeah, we're going to Oxford. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to crack on. I shall see you when we get there. And uh, we're going to have to strap it all up as well, because if it is the port lose there'll be probably like 13 rows. Maybe 11 rows, 12 rows, actually. But we'll see. I'll see you in a bit. Now, the last time I went down this road, I did a little bit of a POV video, and I was like, oh no, I've gone down the wrong road. <laughs> Quite a few people believed it. Uh, I was being very sarcastic. I was taking the mick out of another vlogger who always, always makes a meal out of things. <laughs> um, it's a bit narrow down here. Uh, we are trimming the bushes either side on the, old, on the old ring mirrors. It may also appear like we're going quite fast. I've mentioned this loads of times. Right now we are doing uh, 15 miles an hour is how fast we're going right now. 1.5. Wide angle lenses make it look like you're going a lot faster. If I remember to do this, I'll zoom in. Well, I won't, not even zoom it in, I'll just crop the image so it looks like you're closer up. And you'll see now we're going, it looks like we're going a lot slower. If I go straight back out again, as if it was wide again, it will immediately look like we're going fast again. I haven't changed the speed, we're still doing 15 miles an hour. The only difference is the field of view. It's the only difference. Think of it this way, when you go past um, lamp posts on, uh, on the street, look at the ones on the left hand side of you, they're going quite fast past you. Look at the ones on the far right hand side, they look like they're going past you slower. So exactly, you're doing exactly the same speed and that's kind of the thing, it's, it's how close things are. Cripple vision, that's what it is. Anyway, we are, we're going to come down here, this is where we need to be. Although it is a little bit uh, snug, you wouldn't want to meet another truck coming down here, that's for sure. That thing keeps beeping over there as well picking up all of the bushes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got to get loaded with port loose Last time I come down here, we had to get loaded outside the gate, as there was not enough room inside. It'd be nice if we can go inside, because there's more room than to strap up. Otherwise, I've got to throw straps up over the truck around all these trees. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room in there. Uh, will they load us in there? Possibly. See what they say. Quite possibly they could. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. I can see him washing, uh, washing stuff up. <laughs> Let's go and say hello. Right, situation report. Yeah, he was uh, washing some port loose and he had uh, some earphones in, so he couldn't quite hear me. Uh, the forklift is out of action for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, it's being serviced by whatever company services them, Lindum or something, I don't know. So uh, I need to give the boss just a quick call just to let them know. Uh, also, they don't actually know what's going on, so I've had to make a phone call to try and find out what's going on. <laughs> so it's just as well the fall lives out of action because nobody knows what's going on. So uh, yeah, just making some phone calls basically, trying to find out what it is exactly we're taking to Tap Park. There we go, that's the company service, isn't it? FTM. So as soon as he's done with the forklift, because there's only one forklift here, they can then uh, hopefully start loading me. Uh, I think the IBCs are over there, which need picking up. But then you need to move some stuff to get to it. And it's just started to rain, so that's nice. So, let's get some out so they're ready. And then we can throw them over as soon as we're getting loaded then. Right, we do know exactly what we're having on now. We're having 14 of the normal port loos behind me. So that's seven rows, seven straps. We're then gonna have two disabled toilets, which are, can't see any, oh yeah, there's some there, look. There you go, so the disabled toilets are obviously slightly bigger. 
Uh, there's actually some blue ones over there as well. So 14 of the normal ones, two of the disabled, and then two IBCs. That is uh, what we're gonna wanna take. So actually, not too much. I'll show you the difference between a disabled and a normal. So the normal toilet, all cleaned up, ready to go. And then the disabled are here. Let's find one that we can actually get in. There we go. Disabled, obviously a lot bigger inside. You can get a wheelchair fully in next to it. There's rails and everything. So uh, yeah, it's all gravy. I think in this day and age, you have to be inclusive. Uh, you've got to provide disabled toilets for wheelchair users, or not just wheelchair users, just anyone really, who uh, requires the additional space. So I think it's really good that they, um, you know, they include them at these sort of festivals and sites. It's very inclusive, which is, which is good of, you know, PTL company who we do the work for. So kudos to them for that. Although they do do these, these are, well, those over there are urinals. I wouldn't want to use one of them if I'm honest. <laughs> Let me show you. We're going to get a bit close to them. I just feel like if I'm there using it as a urinal, I'm very close to the bloke next to me. Okay, imagine you're rocking up to it. Obviously, it'll only be single stacked as well. And you're here, taking a waz. <laughs> I don't know, it's very... Uh... <laughs> Visible, let's say. Very visible. I'd, uh, I'd 100% rather use a portaloo than uh, one of them urinals. But never mind. I can't remember what time it was when I asked him because I <laughs> I went and asked him because the guy here didn't want to. So I thought, well, I will. He said half an hour. I can't remember what time he said that. It's 10 past 11 now. So I'm going to assume it was around about 11 o'clock. We got here about quarter to 11. So I'm going to say we asked him about 11 ish. So hopefully he's done by half 11, another 20 minutes. Fingers crossed. Aha, we are done. A little bit after, half past, but uh, we're there. Right, disabled are on. So we're just waiting for the rest of them now to go on. I'm gonna start strapping them up. Something interesting has just turned up. These look like disabled ones. They've been converted into urinals, which are a lot better than those other ones I showed you earlier. That's much better. Oh, I'll be honest, time's getting on now. It's five past 12. <laughs> and uh, well, we've got the two disabled on. The two IBCs are on now. Uh, they're empty IBCs, so we only need one strap. And now we're getting these portaloos on. So we're going to have 14 in total, seven either side. Hopefully, we're out of here by half past 12. Fingers crossed, we got here quarter to 11. So, coming on an hour and a half. Let's get them on. Okay, it's 20 past 12 and um, we are now loaded. We're just doing the last one or two straps up and then we can crack on. Need to get fuel on the way as well. Uh, I mean, had I have known I'd be in here waiting so long, I might have got fuel before I arrived, so I didn't need to do it later, but you never know these things. Okay, I ain't hanging around. I'm gonna get going. Uh, so there's the load. We got seven port cabins on the back, double stacked, as in row wise. So it's 14 in total, two IBCs, two disabled. That is our load. Let's get in the truck and let's crack on out of here because I've been here longer than I would have ideally have wanted. Right. Aircon has decided to start working. There we go. I have an issue with my uh, <laughs> thermometer, whatever you want to call it, the, the screen to adjust the thermostat. Sometimes the display works and sometimes the display doesn't. And you kind of have to guess what temperature you're, you're setting at. So uh, yeah, that's a thing. Right, let's put our seatbelt on before we get onto the main road. Nice. Uh, yeah, so like I said, we need to get fuel. I could get it at this service station here in Oxford Services. Uh, but there's, I think they're weird. They are BP, but they're also 
key fuels, but only key fuels, not UK fuels or something like that. And they've got like a couple of key fuels dedicated pumps, which is fine, but I'm not on key fuel. So there's only actually one pump, I think, that you can use for BP. Uh, so I might fill up, I'm gonna go and have a look anyway. And if there is uh, space to fill up, I'm gonna fill up quickly. I think that's the best idea. So, because we were there for so long, we have obviously had a break in there. Uh, we were waiting to be loaded for quite a while. And uh, I freely dispose of my time as I see fit. You know, I was uh, making use of the toilet facilities, let's say. Again, we're already doing 15 miles an hour. We're not going fast down here at all. But on camera, I know it's gonna look like I'm going fast. And I know people are gonna, some people may mention about it. So I've just gotta say, it's the wide angle. That's all it is. That's all it is. Should be over. Oh, hello. Tell him, mate, you're right. Hey, mate, yeah, we're in one cage, shut down, see it. Uh, I've literally just left now, sat and have a saying, uh, 20 past three. Good, so, good. Good. Thank you. All right, bud. All right, catch you. All right. See you in a bit, bye. No, no. Okay, take it, none of these people are gonna let me out. Thank you, mate. Bit of a cue to get out by that, isn't it? I'm wondering now if coming into the service is the right thing because there appears to be a bit of a cue to get back out. Ah, no, it's all good. Uh, right, fuel station. Right, there's only one truck in there. He's filling up with fuel. That might be the BP fuel, <laughs> the BP pump. I think the other ones are key fuels only. We're going to have a look because we do need fuel. And that ETA I've just given the bloke who phoned me is including stopping for fuel. Let's go around here. Yeah, we can get fuel on this pump here, 26. 26, right, let's grab some fuel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just saw a sign saying hook tour on the pump. Right, see in a bit. Right, so we're just filling up the fuel now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The remnants of hook tour. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's an incredibly slow pump as well. Yeah, it's quite slow. We're going to be here for at least five minutes. Right, 300 litres put in. There is there is a queue to get out. Like I said, there seems to be a lot of traffic we've got a giveaway line there a lot of traffic coming from the right hopefully we can get out all right anyway let's go pay for fuel and then we can crack on right we are here there's a sign here it says unsuitable for hgvs i'm sure this is the way we've got to go we turn right down here, I believe. No, we definitely don't go this way. We need to spin around. I've, uh, I think I've taken the wrong turn. <laughs> we don't go down this way. I, uh, I was just following the sat nav then, and it's definitely taken me in the zero wrong way. Let's try again. When we basically we come off the roundabout just up here, and I'm sure we went straight over, but the sat nav said turn left. So I just <laughs> I just follow the sat nav. I'll be honest with you. And then I saw the unsuitable HGV signs and we're like, ooh, that doesn't sound right. So we are going to go this way because this is the way we normally go in. We don't normally come in this way at all. Right, 
is turn left here. I mean, there's a sign there that says Tatton Park and everything. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to go this way in. So I haven't been here for a while. Take a left here, I don't believe. The signpost is like RHS Flower Show. So yeah, we'll go left here. AA signs. For the flower show up here. Just follow this road for a uh, couple more miles and then we should be at the main entrance. Ooh, some lovely houses down here, man. They look very nice. Okay, take a left here. I'm sure. Do I normally come in the other way? I'm not sure. I think I normally come from that direction. Thank you. Okay, we go on down here. Right, so uh, we are here. This is the main entrance. We need to take a right hand turn here. I don't know why we uh, accidentally made that wrong turn, but we did. I think it was taking us down this road. Which obviously uh, is unsuitable for HDVs. Take a nice wide swing. In like so. And uh, I do believe we don't pay to get in. <laughs> as soon as we're here for a uh, an event. Ugh. Should just get waved straight through. Hello mate, how a good old look. It's very snug. Right, let's come on through. Last time I ran out of, um, last time I come here I needed to stop for a break, I had to stop for a break here. It was all right, it was bearable. Trucks managed to get past me, but it was a little bit snug was a little bit snug so the rhs shower shower the flower rhs flower show tatton park that is where we're delivering to there should be a left turn up here oh wow there's actually cars here as well is the show on no can't be on surely there's never normally signs up for the car park <laughs> I'm just going to go the way we normally go in, which is normally up here. Yeah, contractors and exhibitors this way. Ugh. Normally what we do is we park up here on the left and uh, security will radio through. That is what normally happens. Maybe these cars were here before, I'm not sure. But we roll straight up to the gate. And then uh, hopefully we can get led on in. We need to find out what we're doing later as well because uh, the boss has messaged me what my next job details are, but it's uh, to a place that I'm, I know I'm banned from. <laughs> so uh, I've just questioned it as if to say, are you sure? So that's the second time I've questioned him today because I questioned him earlier to make sure it was actually Oxford. <laughs> But I've got to, be, got to double check for these things. I don't want to get there and then be told, actually, we're not going to load you, which is what they said last time. So I'd rather correct it now if it is a mistake. Let's see what this man's got to say. Just missed him. Just missed him. No worries, mate. I think maybe he went for a break or something. I don't know. Anyway, where are you? So um, we're going to go on in. 
and then uh, try and film some unloading while we're in there. See you in a bit. Right, we are in, and uh, I'd say we're being offloaded, but we're not. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused what's happening, to be honest. Uh, the guy just sort of waved me down. I said, yeah, park up there. And he said, I'll go get the teleander. And then he went. So I'm undoing my straps <laughs> where I am, but I'm not actually 100% sure if I should be. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to assume it's okay. If we've got to move, we just go slowly. We're off site, off the main road anyway, look. So it should be right. Right, yeah, Teleander's coming, so that's good. And I've also just found out it's a good job I did message the boss because uh, we're not going to the place that I'm banned from. Uh, it was a mistake on the company side who actually dishes out the work to us. Turns out I get a letter from Bootle instead. So it is a good job that I questioned that and didn't just drive there. So happy days. How's it going, mate? Right, they are coming off. I'm just going to whack them off where we are. I think to get out, we just spin round down there I think and come back down although it was a bit sketchy spinning around on grass but unless we reverse back out I'm not sure we got uh we got Seb tipping us today nice bloke he actually went and bought um the Ray-Ban glasses based on my recommendation <laughs> uh yeah good bloke Good luck. I haven't had a chance to clean the truck today, like I said I was going to. So remember, I said I was going to uh, give it a wipe over when I had a chance. I haven't had a chance. It's just been, well, I could have cleaned it earlier while I was waiting for the half an hour, but I was on break. <laughs> Can't clean the truck when you're on break. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna go jump back in the truck now because I'm not needed outside. Go and uh, plan my route for uh, my next uh, point of call, which will be where I'm parking out for the night, somewhere in Butul. So I'm gonna go do that now. Anyway, that is gonna be it from me today in this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, short and sweet. We're gonna try and keep them this sort of length, hopefully. I'm aiming, well, I don't know. I don't actually know how long this is. I'm aiming for like 20, 25 minutes and uh, you know, a bit of GoPro footage, a bit of GoPro footage and then a bit of phone footage. That's what I'm hoping to do. And I want to try and get two out a week. That's the end. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it at this uh, flower show. Not really much to show, but uh, we're here anyway and we're, we're delivering some toilets. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.